guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today I have a Marshalls haul for you guys. So I decided last month that I wanted to do a low buy in November, and I'm off to a great start because here I am with my very first haul already, and it's only November 3rd when I'm filming this. So um, I'm wearing the same makeup and everything that I was wearing in my last video because I'm filming them on the same day. I got home from the bazaar and I decided to film a couple of shorter videos so that when I do tutorials, like sometimes I can put up a bonus video or something like that. So um, today I'm going to show you what we got at Marshall's. On our way home from the bazaar, we decided to go to Marshall's because I needed a new beauty sponge um, because my, well, a few of my sponges have kind of gotten old and I like to replace them as often as possible um, once they start to get kind of either crumbly or have like rips or tears in them or they're really stained and as you guys know I put my beauty blenders or my beauty sponges since they're not actual beauty blenders through the ringer in the month of Pinkoween. So uh, I'm going to show you guys what I got today and I'm going to show you everything. So um, the first two things uh, is more of my Magical Unicorn Wipes. I got two more packages. This is all they had. Um, I got one. Oh my gosh. I could smell them through the packaging. I got one in a Marshalls um, video that I filmed like a couple months back. And I've been like coveting that particular one because I couldn't find any more. And then the Marshalls that I went to today had them. So I got the ones they had left. I love this smell so much. I wish I could explain to you what it smells like. It says it's supposed to be magical mint. I don't really get like a mint smell from it, but I wish that they had a body lotion that smelled exactly like this. And the company is BC, which stands for Beauty Concepts. Never heard of them, but I love their makeup wipes. And if they're watching, which they're probably not, sorry, I have like a dog hair on my nose, um, please make a body lotion. That smells just like them because they're amazing. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to get the clothing out of the way, and this is going to be really interesting because it's going to be hard. I still have a dog hair on my nose. <laughs> um, it's going to be hard to kind of hold them up, but I'm going to try. So um, I got a winter coat. It is getting cold, and um, I've lost a lot of weight, and so... The winter coat that I wore last winter was way too big for me and the zipper stopped working and anyhow. So I got this coat and it is a Calvin Klein coat and my mom actually um, got this one for me. Maybe it would have helped if I would have zipped it up. But it has a hood. It's made out of like this mushy material. I don't know. It's very, very warm. Um, and I'm going to try this. This is what it looks like. You're not going to be able to see me, but it's black. It has a nice zipper. It probably, because I'm only 5'4", is going to hit me like right above the knees. And then the sleeves are kind of more of like a sweatery material. Um, so I really love it. It looks very sleek, slimming, and I just, it's so warm and I'm so excited to have this. My winter coat that I got last year also just so happened to be gray, which was a big mistake because every time I wore makeup, it got on the collar. Um, I spill stuff. As you guys know, I drop stuff on my channel all the time. Well, in real life, it's the same way. I spill stuff on myself all the time. And the coat just looks like a hot mess at this point. So I really, really like this. And this was um, originally like a $200 coat because it's Calvin Klein. But um, it was originally at Marshall's $79.99, and then it was on clearance, so I think I paid like $40 for it. And like I said, my mom got it for me as an early Christmas gift, um, slash congratulations on a thousand subscribers gift. So the next item is an item that my son got, and it is a Tommy Hilfiger jacket. Hilfiger, Hilfiger, I don't know. Um, and it looks like this. So it has a really cool zipper that is like the, you know, red, white, and blue, and it's like a gray jacket. It has a hood, and it's really, really soft. The inside is also really, really soft. So this was also on clearance, and I think it was like $30. Um, and my mom also got this for 
him. So that we would each have a brand new coat for this winter. And yeah. Um, so those were kind of like early presents, early Christmas presents. So, um, I don't really need to show you this. I mean, it's like a gray sweatshirt that he got. Um, and then there's a couple of work shirts and stuff like that. Okay. The other thing that I got was this. It's so soft and it's like a gray sweatshirt and it says Star Wars on it. So, and this is, uh, this was on clearance for $13. So I really, really love it. It's so, so soft. So I can't wait to wear this. Um, I don't like wearing sweatshirts a lot unless I'm like around the house because when I go out, I tend to like to, I don't know, dress up, wear like blouses and stuff like that. Blouses, who am I? Um, like pretty tops, stuff like that. Because I think it comes from when I was a dental hygienist, all I wore was scrubs, like literally Monday through Friday. And then whenever I wasn't working, um, I would like put on full makeup, do my hair and, you know, dress up and people would be like, oh, are you going to a party? And I was like, nope, I'm just not working right now. So I think because I used to wear scrubs all the time, I like to dress up usually when I'm, you know, not working. So I kind of stayed in that mindset, even though the doctor that I worked for retired. So anyhow, <laughs> so let me just toss this back in the bag. And then we will move on to all of the beauty items that I got because, oh my goodness. Okay. So, sorry about the wrestling. So this is my beauty items bag. So the next items came in a box like this. It's a makeup blending sponge and travel case. So I've already taken them out. Um, and I'll show those to you in a second. So it looks like this. And I'm sure you guys have seen these before. I saw Leanne, my friend Leanne Soreo on here on YouTube. She got one. And it comes with like a beauty sponge that's black. And then the carrying case opens from the bottom like this. And it has little air holes so that when your beauty blender is still a little bit wet, it can dry when you travel or anytime. Or it will prevent my dogs from trying to eat it when it's drying. So I'm really excited about this, especially for when I travel, because I don't like putting my like damp or wet beauty sponge back in my makeup bag or like in my suitcase. It's just gross. So, and then I got a second beauty sponge. This one has unicorn on it. Funny enough, it's also from the same company that makes the unicorn wipes. So I guess they have a unicorn thing. Um, this one, the carrying case and the beauty sponge was $4 for both. And then this blending sponge was $3. So I just can't spend $20 for a beauty blender when you can get a sponge that is really nice for $3. I just, I can't do it. Especially since the only one I ever bought myself, my dog ate it within 10 seconds. That was my fault. But this one is like marbled, like lavender and violet. So I had to get it. Actually, I only got it for the price. And I think it's the same as the pink and blue one that I had that I really liked. And I just really like, it's like a more, I like a more firm sponge, um, but it's not too firm. It doesn't feel like you're like smacking yourself in the face either. So I got that and then I got these. Okay. This is also by the same brand as the, uh, unicorn wipes beauty concepts. So these are hair rods. So I thought this would be really cool. It says big hair, big dreams. And they're like curlers, um, that you, it says apply, um, apply styling wand to damp hair. Once hair is nearly dry, roll hair toward face and twist ends of the roller to set in place. Set with the hairspray and leave on for an hour. Gently remove the rods and finger comb your hair. So I figured, um, I usually use hot rollers, like I have a set of five of them, um, and I just toss them in my hair and go. But I figured if I wanted to like sleep in these or leave them on while I'm watching a movie at night or something, and then take them out and see if they give me good curls. We'll see. I'll have to try them out because it would be less damaging. But just in case they don't work, I got this. Um, this Oh, and then these were $4 as well. Um, this is Rock Your Hair 
looks like this. It's called Rock Your Hair Hot Curls Thermal Curl Spray. Long lasting heat styled curls. So it's actually for, my hair is naturally wavy, believe it or not. When I leave it, um, like when I let it dry naturally out of the shower, it's like, it's not like ringlet curly, but it's not straight at all. It's like very wavy. And so, but I just don't like that look. I don't know. It's kind of a little bit frizzy sometimes. So that's why I like using either a curling iron or um, hot rollers. And so I figured I could use this to protect my hair when I do curl it like with a heating method. So um, set that. Nope. That's going to be right in your face. Okay. <clears throat> the next item I got. Okay. So this is awesome. So these is, this is Blah, blah, blah. can't even talk. These are some of the things that I'm the most excited about. So Real Techniques had come out with these um, brushes and I think I also saw Leanne get these in one of her hauls and they have like a glitter handle and this is like a big kabuki brush. I either saw it on Leanne's channel or Allison's channel. I don't remember, but the glitter does not feel like glitter. Like it's not like bumpy or rough. It's like very smooth and it's just so pretty. I love the ombre, like, you know, not that that'll last long because it'll probably turn the color of powder, but it's just so pretty. And this was, this one was $7.99, but most of them were on clearance. So I got another one. Um, but this was originally at Ulta, like $15.99 or something like that. And the other one that I got was on clearance for $4.50. And this is, they're called the Brush Crush line. Um, and I wanted them, like I said, when I saw them on Ulta, but I just, I don't know. I just didn't want to spend that kind of money on a brush, especially since I have a lot of brushes, but I am addicted to crease brushes. I don't know why. I just, they're my favorite. I really should be buying more flat shader brushes because those are the ones that I'm lacking, but I just love a good crease brush. So same thing. This one is more purple and this one is more pink. Um, I also saw these on Grey Bear Girls channel, but they're really soft and this is a crease brush. So I'm excited to see it if it works really well. And same thing. It's very smooth. It doesn't have like that rough, bumpy glitter texture and they'll look really pretty in my brush holder. Um, these are by Bella Beauty. Oh, and this one was $4.50 if I didn't say that already. These are by Bella Beauty. This is an eyebrow razor set. So it's $3.99 and they fold like when you take them out of the packaging, they actually fold, they collapse together so you don't cut yourself, which is really good for me. Um, and uh, basically I've seen people use these on their channel like Bailey Vanderveen. Vander I've seen use these and basically you just clean up your eyebrows in between like getting them threaded or waxed, whichever one you do, or if you don't want to do either. Um, this is really good to clean those up. So I wanted to try them and pray for me because I hope I don't cut myself. Um, I got this, you guys. Okay, so I think I talked about it in my last video or the one before that where I've been having a lot of joint pain. I have an autoimmune condition um, and I had a couple of knee surgeries plus my elbow has really been bothering me. Anyhow, long story short, I like to use like some kind of heating pad, um, but I don't always want to have like a heating pad plugged in and then risk falling asleep. Da, 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 da. So they had a bunch of these and some of them were like teddy bears. Some of them were watermelons. Some of them were just different styles. And I got the rainbow one. So it is lavender scented and it's very lightly scented, but basically you stick it in the microwave. If I could get this thing open. Um, you stick it in the microwave. I'm sure you guys have seen this before and it's kind of like a bean bag. Um, it ha it's for hot and cold use. Oh, so you can stick it in the microwave or in the freezer and it's like a little pillow, but it has like bean bag things in it, but I think it's like barley something or I don't know. And it's really, really soft and it just looks like a rainbow and you can, heat it up in the microwave and then just put it wherever you need it. So I'm really excited about this one. I had one, you guys, I had one from Earth Therapeutics that a friend of mine gave to me like a couple of years ago. And this one was filled with like some kind of like corn or something. 
I put it in the microwave for twice the amount of time because I love like hot, 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 like hot showers, hot everything. And literally, I'm not even joking when I say that it just exploded and started like popping open like everywhere. It smelled so bad. It was horrible. So I'm going to have to be careful with this one. But if you can destroy something in some type of way, that's me. So, um, and then last, but certain, certainly not least are these things that I just got. This is really weird. It's late at night and I'm filming and I just got a phone call from a restricted number. That's all about. Okay. Awesome. I just dropped something. I'll be right back. Okay. And we're back. So, um, you guys know that I love eyeshadow toppers. I love the Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glows. And I bought two of one shade, so I'll just set one aside. But, um, they had them in the clearance section. So these were each $7, like $7.99 actually. So I got the shade Freedom because it's Annette's fault. Hashtag it's Annette's fault. Um, because she uses this one on her channel and it's a beautiful, if I could get it out of the packaging, um, it is a beautiful blue to green duochrome shift. I'll swatch it on my hand for you. And these are regularly $24.99. So, and that's just, it's not showing as well, but it's like a blue greenish duochrome shift. I cannot wait to do a look with this. And then the other shade that I got, um, was in the shade Boheme and it is more of like an icy, like lavender, like mauvey pink shade. And this one is a little bit more metallic. The one other one is more duochrome. I'll swatch that one for you as well. So I don't know if you can, oh, there. Maybe you can see them better like that. So I'm really, really excited to use both of these in a look. This one will be really good for like Thanksgiving looks and stuff like that, which I'm going to do a lot of this month. And then I got a Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Coven. This is a shade that I've been wanting for a while, and I never bought it because it was like $20 for a lipstick, a bullet lipstick, not a liquid lipstick. And then she discontinued them and then I couldn't get it anyway. I mean, I think she brought them back now in like new packaging, but again, it's be like $20. So it's like a lavender purple and it's a matte and it's really pretty. And they had a few different Kat Von D shades, but this is the one that I really wanted. So oh, it has the imprint on the lipstick. I don't know if you could see it. There we go. So anyhow, it smells really good. They smell very similar to Mac lipsticks, like vanilla. And this actually has like a very like good closure on it because I have another Kat Von D lipstick that the lid constantly falls off. And if I put it in my purse, it just ends up a disaster. So that is what I got from Marshalls today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys, I was actually going there for two things, a beauty sponge. And I was looking for the Life's a Festival palette from Too Faced because my friend Allison got one at Marshalls for really inexpensive. And I just missed the boat on that palette. I don't know why, but like I kept seeing it. I kept wanting to get it. And I kept getting something different and now it's gone unless I can find it at a different Marshalls. But I'm almost frightened to go to another Marshalls because I might end up like this again. And I'm trying to do better in spending less money. Um, I mean, like I said before, like I did save up money for my channel before I started it, but there's lots of things coming up that I want to get, like the Jeffree Star Alien palette, the James Charles Morphe palette. And so, yeah, I don't need to be doing all of these trips to Marshalls, but I am happy about everything that I got. And I think it's something that most of it is like stuff that's really useful that I will get, I mean, everything I'll get use out of, but like this, for instance, is really, really useful. Um, these are something that I've been wanting to try because I think I wouldn't, you know, it would save me money on having to go get my eyebrows threaded like all the time. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening 
or day or whatever time you see this video, I'm actually going to put on my pajamas and go lay down on the couch, take off my makeup and watch a movie with my pups. So I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.